of you guys. Oh my god. I'm so excited today. I'm so excited. I'm clapping. I'm literally a cheerleader about to do the biggest cheer of my life. Kirsten Dunst was like, bring it on. And I was like, girl, it has already been brought in. Because today, we are about to try so much Cold Stone. <laughs> Just the biggest bag of Cold Stones you've ever seen in your life. Now, no, this is not sponsored, although I wish it was. This is just me, you know, living out all my fantasies in front of you guys. Which, by the way, I always wanted to be in Bring It On. I didn't want to be Kirsten Dunst. I wanted to be the lesbian girl with, like, all the chains and, like, the dark makeup. But instead of being, like, be aggressive, be, be aggressive, I'll be more like antidepressants. Anyone have them? Can I please get some? I really need them. <laughs> I love sports. Anyways, uh, yes, today we're going to be trying so much Cold Stones, and I'm so excited. The last time I went to Cold Stones was maybe, like, five years ago, and every time I go there, I only get a couple little samples, and then I leave. Because I've been too scared to get an actual bowl of it, because it is literally, like, 10,000 calories per bowl. And the way the sizes work isn't, like, small, medium, large. It's, like, like it, love it, gotta get it, oh my god, I can't leave the couch, I need the crane of life to get me out of my bed, can somebody knock a wall down to get my fat ass out this house? It's just me. But I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to start with my all-time favorite. This is the birthday cake remix. Oh, look at these cute little pink spoons they gave us. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna need some metal, bitch. Okay, let's take off this little safety harness. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, it's not even my birthday. Cake, 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 cake is not even my birthday. It's not my birthday. I don't even know when my birthday is. I don't really celebrate it. Anyways, let's dig in. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Can y'all see that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna get a little brownie, a little sprinkle, a oh, little cake. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cause it's my birthday and I wanna get fat. This is act an actual birthday. This is life. This is the day of somebody's birth. Somebody just birthed this and then it popped out of a pussy. I bet it was a beautiful pussy. It was like a like a pussy made out of birthday cake. And then they slapped that baby. They woke it up and they said, hey, it's time for somebody to eat you. None of that made sense, but for some reason it made perfect sense to me. The ice cream is birthday cake flavored, obviously. But then they throw in some fucking cake chunks and they throw in some fucking sprinkles and I think there's some frosting in there. I'm not sure what size this is. I think it's love it, but I would like to change it to marry me. Marry me and never leave me. But if you do leave me, I'm gonna find a bitch bigger than you. Oh my God. The only thing that could make this even better is if like they put a candle in it and then right before you take a bite, you blow out a wish. Speaking of which, none of my birthday wishes have ever came true. I'm not a billionaire. I don't have a pony. I'm not best friends with Kimmy Gibbler. And occasionally I do still pee the bed. So, fuck wishes. All right, next ice cream. Oh my God, I've always wanted to try this one. This one is called, that's how I roll. It is like a cinnamon roll mixed with like uh, cake, mixed with like, ooh, cinnamon ice cream. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at that, look at her. Look at what she's bringing to the table. Like it's Thanksgiving day, you know what I mean? And like everybody's like, damn, this feast is amazing. And then some bitch walks in from the kitchen and she's like, uh-oh, did somebody ask for sweet potato yams with marshmallows on top with crumbled up coconut that's been deep fried? Like, Bitch is bringing extra to the table and I'm ready for it! <laughs> that had a lot of sugar in it, so get ready. Jane's gonna get crazy. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that cornbread? Oh, Cold Stone, you gonna fuck me up. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. That might be, and I have tried a lot of food on this channel. I've tried a lot of food in my lifetime. That might be the best thing I have ever, ever put in my mouth. Oh my God. It tastes like, okay, me and my family had this routine on Christmas where every Christmas my mom would wake up, she'd scream, she'd be like, why is this my life? And I'd be like, Merry Christmas to you too. Then we run down the stairs, look for presents. There wouldn't really be any. Then my dad would be like, Santa's not real. And then my mom would be like, your present is that we're still alive. And I'd be like, can I return that? Like, can I return that for a Furby? Then my mom would make some cinnamon rolls. She wouldn't really make them. They'd be frozen. She just put them in the microwave. Technically she should have put them in the oven, but she put them in the microwave instead, which honestly probably gave us all salmonella, which probably explains why I got diarrhea every Christmas. That mixed with the fear I'd get every night, mixed with the fact that I did pee the bed, which is probably some kind of emotional unstability inside of my body. But I digress. She would pour that icing on top of those salmonella covered cinnamon rolls, and oh my god, it would make me forget that God forgot about us. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Kirsten, this was great when I was a kid. And this does taste like those cinnamon rolls. Oh, mama, if you're watching this, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna fill you with this dick.
I didn't think that through before I said it. Next ice cream. Okay, this one I'm not excited about because it uh, is called the Strawberry Blonde and I hate strawberries in any kind of dessert situation. It's kind of like when you're a kid and your friend had like a big birthday party, but then like someone invited his aunt and then like she brought her two friends and then they brought like their PTA mom friends and then the PTA mom friends was like, oh, I have a daughter too. She has a snaggle tooth and she has a problem where she punches people in the tits if it's cold outside, but like she can play. So then the party just has like too much going on. That's how I feel about strawberries in my dessert. Strawberries in my dessert is like just the kid that needs to go home. But I'm gonna give it a try because it's food. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, god. Ew, the strawberries are like frozen. Listen to that. Like, knock knock, who's home? Somebody's aunt. And she needs to leave. Alright, let's try this. Girl, go home! Oh, nobody wants you here. Put on a bra! Why do ants not wear bras? I know your nipples are lopsided, bitch. I don't need proof. <laughs> oh my god. This is- I hate this. If you like strawberry, you're gonna love this. I don't. It's just not great. It's a lot of strawberries. It's a lot of strawberry flavored ice cream. I think there's cake in here, but like that doesn't fix things. That's like having treats at a funeral. Like, oh, that's so sweet that you brought cake pops to a funeral, but grandma's dead! That's how I feel about this. Next. Okay, this one is called the Founder's Favorite, uh, which means it's like their signature one. Now, I'm excited because like I love a good signature pose, like a signature signature dish. Like on top model, Tyra had her signature face. It was... And she kills it with that. So I'm hoping that this gives me Tyra face. Alright, here we go. You know what? This is not giving me Whoopi or Tyra. This is giving me Oprah! This is everything. Literally. They put everything in this. Huh? I feel like they called it Founders because like it reminds me of like Finding America, you know what I mean? Like, it's like all the different people coming together and then killing the Indians. So like, there's that guilt factor. <laughs> like, you're tasting it, you're like, damn, this tastes like freedom, but also like, somebody died, right? Like, that's how I feel about this. Like, it tastes really good, but I'm gonna get fat, right? This is so good. It tastes like... Okay, there's like a cinnamon flavor. I think this is cinnamon ice cream. Then they got some nuts up in here. They got some brownies up in here. They definitely have some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups up in here. They swirled some caramel in there. This is America, home of the free land of the brave. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda looks like Hillary Clinton, you know what I mean? Like, messy. Oh, that's good. Oh, what do we have left? I feel like, how are we gonna top that? Oh my god, I know how we're gonna top that. Because this net situation is not ice cream. It's not a cupcake. It's an ice cream cupcake! I don't know who invented this, but I vote for them for president. Like, I feel like whoever came up with this idea can fix our country. Poverty, debt, racism, sexism, homophobia, have a cupcake. You'll forget about all of it. Ooh, I'm gonna have this pink one first. Okay, I don't know how this works. Oh, that's definitely icing. But like, this is like a hard shell, which I'm assuming is like chocolate shell. I don't know what's inside. Okay, let's just take a little bite. Let's just do this. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Hold on. Y'all need to look at the layers. Oh my god, the bottom is a red velvet cake, then you got some ice cream, and then you got that frosting, then you got those sprinkles, then on the outside you got that hard shell. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Like, this is amazing. What is this one? This is probably cookies and cream. Don't fuck me up. <laughs> no, you can fuck me up. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what is this one? This one looks special. This one looks like some kind of a horchata situation. I feel like mm -hmm, I'm getting some kind of a Spanish flavor. Let's see. Oh, it's fucking right. Oh my god, that one has a cinnamon roll at the bottom. Some cinnamon ice cream. Some caramel drizzle inside. Oh my god. Huh. This is my birthday. My birthday is not till July. But like, honestly, I'm just gonna celebrate it now alone. <laughs> In all honesty, this is gonna be kind of the same situation on my actual birthday. Just like me, a lot of food, and a camera. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, maybe I should. <laughs> Speaking of my birthday, guys, I'm freaking out. My book, It Gets Worse, which I talked about a couple weeks ago, you guys got this to number five on Amazon on the first day of its pre-order, and to number two on Barnes & Noble's website. This is fucking crazy. The book doesn't come out until my birthday, July 19th, but you guys have already got it on the charts, and I'm so excited. I literally cried <laughs> like a little bitch uh, when I saw that you guys were supporting the book, so thank you so fucking much for doing that. It means literally the world to me, and I'm so excited. Keep pre-ordering it. If you haven't gotten it yet, go Go to itgetsworsebook.com. I'll put the links all down there to pre-order the book. The more people that pre-order, the more states I'll be able to go to on the tour. And um, everybody at the book company and everybody in the stores are excited because they see you guys want the book, which means I'll be able to go to more places. So it's going great and I'm so fucking excited. And to celebrate, I am going to eat all this ice cream alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm gonna a physical day. And I will see you little cold stone treaties tomorrow. So you were probably like 22 back then? And you were going to a Mario party? Shouldn't you be getting like drunk and high at 22? I wouldn't know, I've never been to a party. <laughs> I'd actually probably really like a Mario party. Oh my God, what if they had a Spongebob party? And then they had a contest to see who could do the best Spongebob noise? Cause I'd win, you know, hey! Just give me the goodie bag right away.